Okay, I'm going to show you a really cool professional technique for making your own uh, nature recording stereo setup, either NOS or XY configuration. Um, you can build all of it, not including the stereo mini bar, for uh, let's say six dollars. Right here on the right is exactly the same as I have on the left. Uh, exposed cage um, using a 12 gauge copper wire sheathed and all I did was build this cage around the Rode NT1A shock mount. As you can see here I have it taped use industrial duct tape. Believe it or not this setup is extremely sturdy uh, on the right you can see it covered up. I call it Chewbacca fur. You can get it down at your local uh, fabric store. You can buy a yard of it for uh, like eight dollars. Sew it up. At the bottom I just made some cuts for actually cinching it against the weather. You could actually use this for capturing ambient sound. Believe it or not, these and I've got a pile of microphones. Believe it or not, these cheap, uh, well hundred and thirty dollar used but brand new two hundred dollars these cheap Rode NT1As are the go-to mic for ambient sound recording and nature record. When money is no object and you've got a two $2,300 sound devices mixer and another $2,000 sound devices 722 recorder, so you got $4,000 of mixers and preamps, your premier nature recorders and your ambient sound recording artists are using these cheap Rode NT1A microphones. When money is no object, this is what they're using. So why are they using the Rode NT1As? Reason A. Number one. Outdoors, bad weather situations, you destroy the mic, no big deal. It's a $200 mic. That's not the primary reason. The primary reasons are three. Flat response, which you want for ambient noise recording. You want the truest possible sound. So you get a flat response in the Rode NT1A. Uh, second is a, the lowest self noise of a large diaphragm condenser. Number three is high sensitivity. So, flat response, uh, the lowest self noise of a large diaphragm condenser, and uh, yeah, the lowest self noise, and extreme sensitivity. And number four is that it's extremely cheap. So, you know, you've got a pair set up here. So, if you've got bad weather nature recordings, destroy your microphones. I mean, you're all out. Well, used like new replacements. I'm gonna run you for a pair of them. And, you know, two hundred and you know, two hundred and fifty dollars. So, this is if you actually do a Google search, type in nature recording Rode NT1A. You'll see a lot of people that are using these, but uh, they're using uh, expensive setups. They're using like a pair of Rode blimps. So you got like another four hundred dollars in that. And I thought up a, since I'm an inventor, I was thinking of better ways to do things cheaper. Um, this uh, is actually the best way. The uh, road uh, blimps too, they actually have a short shag fur. The longer the fur, the better the noise reduction. It's uh, about a half inch shorter than the shag on this stuff that you can get at your local fabric store. So, I've got basically $10 into this uh, stereo setup. Like I said, right here on the right is exactly the same as I have on the left. I'm uh, using a Zoom H6 portable quarter. Really great preamps, extremely low self noise. Yeah, the minuscule noise left. Of course, you want to ramp up your preamps, and you're amping up the noise. And of course, you want extreme sensitivity, flat response, and extremely low self noise for nature recording. This is also be perfect for recording a, a concert where you just have a one setup, uh, you need XY configuration like I have here. I have NOS setup. Uh, where the mics are spaced, get really great uh, stereo sound recordings. Um, yeah, believe it or not, if you uh, do a search, you'll find out that the nature recording artists are actually using uh, this rather uh, cheap Rode NT1A microphone. I mean, I've got a pile of microphones, but this is the one that they use, and uh, this setup that I built uh, saves you another $400. Uh, this cage, I could actually sit on this cage and uh, it won't bend. I won't actually bust my microphone. I could actually throw this over a cliff and it still won't damage the microphone. As you can see here, still have a free movement of the microphone. All I have is a wire cage wrapped around. This is double wire on the two main loops, double wire on the main support loop, and a single wire on a halo loop. 
And all I did was uh, hand sew, uh, since I don't have a sewing machine anymore. It took me about four hours to make both of these. Um, works perfect. You know, you're talking $10 versus uh, two road blimps, which cost you $400. So, you know, roughly 10 bucks. 12 gauge copper wire. That's all this is wrapped with industrial duct tape. Um, extremely sturdy. I mean, this will literally last more than a lifetime. Very, very sturdy. Um, I mean, that's that's it. Uh, some of the people would say that this is uh, engineering on the cheap, but uh, actually, uh, the uh, stereo Rode NT1, uh, uh, stereo Rode NT1 setups I've seen, this is actually not only the cheapest setup, but money being irrelevant, uh, it's the most easy to set up and the most reliable. Also, like I said, the shag on this is longer, so you've got better wind reduction than the, than the dead wombat that comes with the road blimp. So that longer shag actually helps a great deal in uh, heavier winds. So it's unfortunate, like the dead cats that you see and the dead wombats from road, they don't have longer shag on them. The shag on the fur is uh, not that long, so it's good for wind protection, but not that awesome. Like I said. The uh, wire loops are just a 12 gauge uh, vinyl coated uh, copper wire. This is a large spool I've had for probably 20 years now. Didn't take that long to set up. I still have full range of shock motion on both road mics. Both of these are the same. Obviously this one's covered, that one's not. Um, doesn't get any better than that. Recording is perfect. Works beautiful in high wind. Easy to set up. Cheap. So. Like a lot of the stereo wind protection setups that I've seen on a pair of stereo road mics that cost $400 and up. You know, I've built this for $10. I've never seen anything like it. And this is, I've got a road blimp. Uh, it's rather a fragile creature. I mean, you're not meant to uh, bang it around, obviously. But this is a lot sturdier. A lot, lot sturdier than a road blimp is. So, that's how you build it. Do it fast, do it cheap, do it easy. Built it cheap, built it better, built it sturdier, built it more rugged, more reliable, more simple to set up, more simple to tear down. I mean, what more could you want than that? <clears throat> well, it is sometimes true that you get what you pay for. I've spent enough money and bought enough things that uh, a lot of these assholes that think you can throw money at stuff and that will solve the answer. I mean, these people are so full of shit. I mean, if uh, throwing money at things was the answer, then uh, the government would be the master at solving problems. But we, we all know that the government never fucking solves problems. I mean, the government is famous for throwing millions and billions of dollars at shit. That obviously doesn't solve things. The same is true on the consumer level. Just because you throw a shitload of money at something doesn't mean you're getting something superior. I built this better, cheaper, than everything else out there. I hope that helps you, that you go build one yourself. Send me a question on how to build it. Oh, it's rather simple. It's just a wire cage. And I just sewed up this uh, flat dead wombat. As you can see, even it's laid flat, this is what it looks like. And it just slips over there and cinches at the bottom. So you've got full protection against the wind entering in at the bottom by using these two Velcros. So I can have my microphone uh, cable, XLR cable, pass through here, but cinch it tight so no wind could pass underneath underneath like that and cause wind noise so it works perfect and it works better than the road blimp it's sturdier than the road blimp far cheaper than the road blimps of course you need two road blimps to have a XY or NOS set up like this and it costs you four hundred dollars so yeah I repeated myself but whatever that's the do it yourself the do it better do it cheaper version of setting up your stereo microphone set for nature recording <laughs> ta-da thanks